I am weary of the Grey Warden's ceaseless need for men to fight the Darkspawn, but it is their right. You'll find no allies here. The Templars can spare no men, and the mages are indisposed. I shall speak plainly. The tower is no longer under our control. Abominations and demons stalk the tower's halls. The circle is lost. The tower has fallen. I have sent word to Denerim, calling for reinforcements and the right of annulment. The right of annulment gives Templars the authority to neutralize the Mage Circle. Completely. The Mages are probably already dead. Any abominations remaining in there must be dealt with, no matter what. This situation is dire. There is no alternative. Everything in the tower must be destroyed so it can be made safe again. I assure you, an abomination is a force to be reckoned with, and you will face more than one. If you succeed, I would owe you much, enough that I would pledge my Templars to your cause. Without word from Denerim, I must determine our course. Surely destroying Darkspawn is a worthy goal. A word of caution. Once you cross that threshold, there is no turning back. The great doors must remain barred. I will open them for no one until I have proof that it is safe. I will only believe it is over if the first enchanter stands before me and tells me it is so. If Irving has fallen, then the circle is lost and must be destroyed. May Andraste lend you her courage, whatever you decide. Stay away from the tower if you value your life. I don't want to die. I wish this were over. We're running low on supplies and I don't know how much longer we'll last. We need the abominations and demons out of this place, if that's what you mean. If you have anything to trade, that would be helpful too. I wish this were over. We're running low on supplies and I don't know how much longer we'll last. I certainly hope so. Are you here to trade then? This is too cruel. Be on your guard. I will not they could attack even an at animal any moment. such a terrible fate. Yes, was there something else you wanted? As I said, I do not know. Perhaps you will find answers in the tower. The tower has been quiet for a while. I suppose I have time to answer your questions. Carol. He's generally a good lad, but a little strange, yes. He should probably be in Denerim, but I could spare no one else. My history does not concern you. I am... Do not misunderstand. I do not want to do this. An unprepared... And the mages, if any...
I don't want to die. All right, let's get this done with. Naturally. Yes? Something you need? And because I wasn't talking to you, I wanted the mirror. I've come up with one. A question that you can't answer. Are you talking to me? That's right. You think you're so smart. I've got an academic question that I bet you won't be able to answer. Oh, I doubt that. So tell me then. What was the name of Andraste's husband? This is a religious question, not an academic one. You're joking, right? A five-year-old could answer that question. Do you not know more than a child? I care nothing for your religion, and this game of yours is over. Oh, how the mighty have crumbled! Over with. You. No, come no further. Grey Warden or no, I will strike you down where you stand. I will accept that for now. But what are you doing here then? You were told that the Circle was in no shape to help you, I suppose. So why did the Templars let you in? Do they plan to attack the tower now? <sighs> they sent for it then. I feared they might have. What else could they do? So Gregor thinks the Circle is beyond hope. He probably assumes we are all dead. They abandoned us to our fate. But even trapped as we are, we have survived. If they invoke the right, however, we will not be able to stand against them. Let it suffice to say that we had something of a revolt on our hands, led by a mage named Aldred. When he returned from the battle at Ostagar, he tried to take over the Circle. As you can see, it didn't work out as he had planned. I don't know what became of Aldred, but I am certain all this is his doing. I will not lose the Circle to one man's pride and stupidity. I erected a barrier over the door leading to the rest of the tower, so nothing from inside could attack the children. 
You will not be able to enter the tower as long as the barrier holds, but I will dispel it if you join with me to save this circle. Once Gregor sees that we have made the tower safe, I trust he will tell his men to back down. He is not unreasonable. Then our path is laid out before us. We must save Irving. Petra and Kinnan will watch them. If we slay all the fiends we encounter on our way, none will get by to threaten the children. You want us to assist this preachy schoolmistress? To rescue these pathetic excuses for mages? They allow themselves to be corralled like cattle. Mindless. Now their masters have chosen death for them, and I say... Let them have it. <laughs> if that were so, why, I am sure I would have flung myself from the top of this tower years ago. I will allow neither mind nor body be subjugated in such a dehumanizing fashion. And that is made abundantly clear. Look at how they live. Servants of the Chantry. They lack respect for themselves and their own power. Why should I respect them? Hello, and welcome to the channel. Have it your way. Petra, Kenan, look after the others. I will be back soon. Awesome. When? Are you sure you're all right? You were so badly hurt earlier. Maybe I should come along. The others need your protection more. I will be all right. Stay here with them. Keep them safe and calm. Your confidence is refreshing, though you should make sure it does not blind you to your weaknesses. If you are ready, let us go end this. Awesome, let's do it. Hello. The, the I, I can't pronounce that name. All right, so let me see. It's me, her. I'm gonna get yes. Alistair and Indeed. Morgana. All right. Except, let's do this. Have you ever seen an abom... Ab an abom... It is good to see that some wardens survived. We are sorry for the loss of your comrades. You heard about Loghain. I would never have imagined the Tarn a traitor. Wynne was at Ostagar. She told us everything upon her return. But why speak of yep. things past? Be careful in there, and stay safe. All right. I don't suppose this is what you expected the circle to be like, is it? I keep thinking this is our punishment for being mages. <laughs> That's why the Templars have to to do away with us. The swords are like the the sword of mercy that sent Andraste back to the Maker. We should let the Templars come. Only then can we be cleansed of our wickedness. I will pray. May we abandon our tainted bodies to find peace with the Maker. <laughs> <laughs> 